Hi folks, John with the Wingman 115 channel. I am so excited to be back out into the woods. Today we're gonna to be talking about backpacks. To be specific, we're gonna be talking about the Hidden Woodsman new day ruck. It's the 2.0 version. Come along folks, we're gonna break it down. It's gonna be a fun video. It starts now. For folks that aren't aware of Malcolm and the Hidden Woodsman, he loves history. He does a lot of research on old historical photos of soldiers, frontier folks, and paintings and drawings from days gone by, and the gear that they've used. And what he does is he reproduces that gear using modern materials. So now we're gonna cut away, we're gonna get up close, and I'm gonna show you the Day Ruck 2.0. Here's a quick look at the Day Ruck 2.0. Now you're gonna notice some distinct changes from the original Day Ruck. First is gonna be all the attachments. Let's start at the top. On the top flap, I now have attachment um, anchors up there if I want to attach a tarp, a bedroll, and such. Also, with the original, he still has the attachments on the bottom for the same thing. If you're going to do a uh, tarp, some sort of sleep system, maybe even a little pack chair, you just never know. When you're going out in the woods, for me, it's all about smoothing it and creature comforts. Now, on the side, you're going to notice a difference from the original is, one, it's a little bit wider, and Malcolm has added more molly attachments on both sides. Now. The little side pouch that you notice here is a add-on. This is a Blackhawk uh, pouch that I added on. The reason being is I just like quick access to my gear. I don't wanna be having to dig through my pack, take everything out just for that one quick much needed item. I keep it in here and I'm good to go. Same thing with the other side. I added a Camelback, just basically a water bottle holder and with all that molly, I mean, you just have a ton of ways to attach gear and it just makes it really nice. Now, on this one, Malcolm has added a sleeve where you can put a hatchet or an ax. I like that. Even though I'm not, quote, a bushcrafter per se, I do like coming out in the woods. I like using the gear, whether I'm testing it or just coming out hanging with my buddies like today and that just makes it nice being able to grab this piece of gear on the quick. If I have to delimb something, make some tinder on the quick, just doing whatever, having fun, playing reindeer games out here. Um, it's just nice add-on feature. And also Malcolm has reinforced this upper part, even though this whole pack is made out of, uh, I believe 500 denier cordura, He's also reinforced it, so it's gonna last a very long, long time. Now, let's talk about the suspension system on this pack. Malcolm has upped his game, changed all the material, did a different pattern on there. You get a lot more airflow, and uh, there's more padding for, um, your back and that soft spot, your lower part of your back. For me, I'm out in the woods, sometimes I'm doing some of these scouts and I'm out here for a long time. You just want something, obviously, that's gonna be a lot of uh, comfort because if it doesn't feel good, you're not gonna carry it. So, good reinforced padding on the shoulder straps. Also have the um, nylon loops, as you can see here. I have a GPS on there where I do a lot of geocaching when I'm out and about. If there happens to be a geocache near where I'm at, I always like to go out and try to find it. It's a fun family activity. So uh, having that ability to put that on there, it's just really fun. And then you have your sternum strap as well. And I have to tell you, all the materials that you see here, Malcolm, Sources only 100% made in the USA. Everything that this pack is made out of, the thread, which is rot proof, 
uh, the materials, even the buckles are all American made. And with that, folks always want to talk about cost of an item. With that, it's going to cost a little bit more. But you buy once, you cry once, you get what you pay for. And this is an awesome pack. Now, let's get into the meat and potatoes of this pack. Pop it open. You're going to notice, take my jacket out of here. You have the standard flaps. Malcolm has that on the original. Added it to the 2.0 version. I like that there's an adjustable strap so I can compress or I can expand this pack based on my needs, whether I'm on a day hike or whether I'm trying to do a 24 hour or maybe a 48 hour gig out in the woods. Uh, I'm able to do that. This pack is expandable. Now, you're gonna look inside and you're gonna see all this high vis material. This is awesome. When it starts getting twilight or early morning, a lot of times if you don't have that, it's very hard to see. It's hard to see the items in your pack and to be able to get stuff out of it when you need it. Well, Mar Malcolm uses uh, 400 denier nylon on the inside. And um, I'm gonna tell you from my experience with the original Day Rock, that is some tough stuff. I mean, I've used that pack now for a couple years and it's seen a lot of cameos in a lot of my videos. So obviously I'm using the gear, it travels with me and it's been holding up really good. Other than getting maybe a lot of pine pitch, I mean, the fabric shows no wear at all. So that's really awesome. So this is a traditional bucket style pack that has a few areas that are compartmentalized. First off, let's start with the main compartment, the uh, bucket part of it. My cook kit, take out of there, have an esbit that I'm using for um, an upcoming video review. Down here, I have my first aid kit. I never leave home without that because being a gear reviewer with knives and axe and such, it's not a matter of if you're gonna cut yourself, it's when you're gonna cut yourself and you need a good homegrown first aid kit. Inside, Malcolm also makes a possibles pouch. Now this is a Cryptek material and I have used this as my fire kit. So all my fire implements are in there and a little firebox nano stove is in there as well. Keeps everything nice out of the way. And uh, when I'm ready to make a fire, guess what? I just pull this out of the pack, boom, I'm good to go. Spool tool, everybody loves cordage, especially me. If you go out in the woods and uh, you're practicing any primitive living skills, I'm not a Zen master when it comes to making cordage. So guess what? I bring my cordage with me and uh, the spool tool does a great job of doing that. Now, let's talk about the side panels. Let's talk about the back panel first. This is basically for a hydration bladder. Uh, most folks, you either love hydration bladders or you don't. I like them. I just haven't put one in here yet uh, for that. You could also put maps in there, um, other items that are thin that are gonna slide down in between there. And there's a nice little loop to hook your hydration bladder. Then you just run your hose on either side, depending if you're right or left-handed. Now, that is deep. It goes all the way to the bottom of the pack. So that's a nice feature to have. Uh, that's gonna hold a 100 ounce uh, hydration bladder, no problem at all. Then you have these side panels. So one of the side panels, I always bring a power bank with me because we live in a cell phone society. I'm constantly taking photos and video. And when I'm out here in the woods, the iPhone just drains because it's always searching for a cell tower. So you always have to have uh, some external power. Even though I'm not a big fan of gloves, I always bring gloves with me. And then Malcolm sells as an add-on some straps. So these straps can be used either on the top or bottom of the pack to hold your tarp, hold your um, shelter, whatever system you're accustomed to using, you have attachment points to be able to do that. And then Malcolm also makes a gear bag and I'm just starting to outfit this bag. This one's made out of the uh, Multicam Black and it's a clamshell design 
Velcro on one side, has a really cool uh, morale patch on there. And then on the other side, he has a zippered pocket where I have a write in the rain notebook and a um, emergency blanket in there. Like I said, this is a clamshell design. It just flops open. This is a work in progress still, but I have a little bit of oil for uh, my knives. Uh, I'm gonna outfit this later on, probably with a little flashlight, maybe a compass and things like that. But uh, there is a pocket here as well as you have two tiered elastic to be able to attach a lot of different things. You have a loop here as well to be able to attach something. You have a D-ring, put your keys, and then another internal pocket, which goes all the way down. So just an awesome piece of kit that Malcolm also sells uh, on his website. Now, also has a mesh pocket in there with a zipper. Now, a lot of the original gear used Velcro, and if you go out in the woods, and if you're a hunter, especially, Velcro is really not your friend because as soon as you try to open it, what do you get? You get that sound when you try to open it. With a zipper, it's a lot more quiet. It's a little uh, less intrusive. And another thing, when you come out here with Velcro, there's stuff flying around in the air all the time. Your hands are dirty. It's amazing how much dirt and debris gets stuck in the hook and loop on Velcro. It's just crazy. So this is a nice deep weld mesh pocket. Have the signal panel in there. Uh, I use this as a secondary uh, uh, panel like to sit on if say a picnic table's wet or uh, a tree is wet and you want to sit down. This is really nice for that. Also, if you're doing uh, tinder for your fire and you're gonna scrape uh, fat wood and you're gonna get like that Maya dust, you can lay that out there and do all that. Or uh, you're making feather sticks and some of the curls fall off and you're worried about stuff getting wet. Well, I could ramble on for an hour about the uh, uses of this signal panel and it works really good. Got my food, quick trail food my hunting license, all that gear that goes with that. Never leave home without that. Spoon, because I'm a chow hound and I like eating out here in the woods. Flashlight and ferrule rod. So as you can see, this pack will hold a lot of gear. Folks, that's a quick look at the Hidden Woodsman Dayruck 2.0 version. Malcolm does an awesome job. You know that I love supporting the little guy. And Malcolm has great customer service, but also he takes a lot of pride in ownership and you can tell with the build of this pack. I'll leave links in the video description below on how to visit Malcolm's website if you're interested in any of the gear that you see here today. I'm also gonna be doing some long-term testing on this pack. So later on this summer, maybe early fall, look for a follow-up review of this pack. Folks, as always, I thank you so much for watching and I'll see you on the next video.